Here's how I learned to compose an illustration like JC Leindecker. Step one, research Leindecker's process. I found this blog post on Gurney Journey about Leindecker's process. He would come up with thumbnail compositions first, then study his model references, then basically played a design puzzle game where he fit the references into his original design until they looked amazing. Step two, gather a bunch of Leindecker images into a visual reference board or many. Step 3. Organize the images by similarities in the compositions. Today I'm studying a selection of Leindecker's arrow ads and a selection of his Saturday evening post covers. Step 4. Start making thumbnail studies. Drawing out the thumbnail forces you to consider the artist's choices, reverse engineering how they made their compositions. Step 5. Make analyses of your thumbnails alongside the original artworks. The focus of these images are the characters, in particular their faces, which we as social creatures are drawn towards. Here are some guidelines I've come up with about how these images are composed. Guideline number one, use gesture lines and shape designs thoughtfully to lead the eye around the image like a racetrack for your eye. Circles and borders are used as a visual motif to keep your eye contained at important focal elements. And many images contain figures posed with contrasting lines of action, curved versus straight, and objects in the set dressing around these characters repeat these motifs, adding harmony. Guideline number two, often use a low point of view looking up at the models. Notice how we're looking up at many of these characters, seeing the bottom plane of their chin. Line Dagger had his models standing up on a stage in front of him, and the low point of view gives them a statuesque feeling or a sense of grandeur. Guideline 3. Consider how the characters emote. In his arrow collar advertisements, it was all about glamour and elegance. The characters don't often look at each other, but exude confidence and an idealized version of beauty particular to the time period. Interestingly, the images often read with the woman on the left and the man on the right. Guideline number 4. Complementary colors. Leindecker's arrow ads used a lot of limited palettes with warm analogous colors like yellow, orange, red, magenta, and one or two complementary colors like gray blues and gray greens. He created a sense of theatricality with a low warm stage light and cool moonlight up top. Guideline number five, make note of the clever visual motif Leindecker implements. In his arrow ads, the silhouette of the man's suit disappears into black backgrounds. I wonder if you learned that from another illustrator named Coles Phillips, who was famous for a similar motif, often using negative space in advertisements for women's dresses. And that's how I learned to compose an illustration like J.C. Leindecker. Be sure to see my next video for how I turned all this learning into this book cover. Thanks for watching!